You know, there's one about measurement, and we didn't really touch on measurement. Uh, so this is a good one. Uh, is there any way to actually measure this stuff? <laughs> Where do I get started? So <laughs> I think <laughs> the honest answer is not really. I think you can find the right balance between showing qualitative things and then trying to measure you know, some attribution, the, the A word that I think we all hate here, uh, <laughs> on an open text question at the end, like some companies are, uh, are starting to do. But I think for us, what we look at is the, let's start with organic social. We're looking at the comments that people are leaving, who's leaving those comments, the companies that they're coming from, are they finding it helpful? I think we're looking at the messages that you or I or Justin get on you know a weekly and monthly basis. We take screenshots of those. We share it internally with the rest of our sales team and our customer success team and, and use those as real leading indicators. And I think it's tough because you're relying on screenshots at the end of the day and kind of a gut feeling. But I think as long as you start to see an uptick in those and over time you're seeing the right people with the right titles, that's all the, the, the measurement that I need to know that, hey, you're on the right track. You just got to keep doing it consistently. Yeah. And, you know, for me, a lot of it is the, the feedback we get from sales. Because, like, obviously, if this stuff wasn't helping sales in some way, then, like, would we keep doing it? And so when I hear from them, when they're like, the, the, the biggest one for me is it's so easy to outbound. And so to me, because they're like, people know who we are, you know, yep. and it's like, so th that kind of feedback when like a year and a half ago, that was definitely not the case. And just when they come to us and like the sales reps are sending us those things, like the chorus calls and things where people are recommending or not recommending, sorry, but talking about what they've seen from us or, and that just helps the sales conversation because now the sales rep, if they hear that, they know, okay, this person already kind of trusts us a little bit. You know what I mean? They already know us a little bit because of that stuff. And so it's an easier conversation. And so that's kind of, that's one of the things I look at. And then like you mentioned, um, today we're, we're asking, once you become a customer, we're asking where you first heard of us. But there's lots of problems wrapped up in that. A, it could be three months since they are four or five months since they heard from us. They might not remember. So Mark and I are trying to figure out, like, what's the best way we can get that further upstream? But again, of course, without creating an obstacle to any kind of conversions, but... Yeah, I think uh, two things that I would add. One, yes, our sales team butters us up sometimes, but they also tear us back down uh, when we deserve it. So it's not just all sun and rainbows here. And then I think the second thing is, f for me, the craziest and probably coolest part in all of this is when you hear mentions on call recordings from people who I've never even heard of before. And when I look yeah. at some of the stuff that I'm seeing on my own LinkedIn post, I have a rough idea of, you know, oh, that name looks familiar. Or I see that person, you know, commenting all the time or, you know, doing whatever, or I've seen that person in DGMG before. But when people mention, you know, you or me and our marketing on a call recording and I've never heard of them, it's like, okay, this stuff works and you can't measure it. <laughs>